Well, one metro restaurant owner is counting on the taste to introduce more people to African cuisine. Turn on the heat. Nina Sanji's love for cooking. A little bit of margarine. Started as a little girl in Western Africa, thanks to her grandmother. She'll come really early in the morning and she'll make like this, this really simple dish. It's not really anything like filet mignon type of thing, but it was so satisfying to me that she came. She later found out Grandma Agnes was also making hot meals for other kids in the neighborhood. Nina knew early on that we already have something special about our food. She also wanted to share it with others. We have all of this nurturing and rich culture but that nobody knows of. Anybody that you ask what is African food or uh, come eat African food, they'd be like, what? What is it? She changed that last year when she opened Okra African Grill. Very good. Yeah, very good. It offers slow cooked African dishes made from scratch. So you just come through the door, you come up from here, and you want to build a bowl. Building a bowl is simple. You pick your base. You get to pick between white rice and jollof rice. Uh, the jollof rice is the red rice is cooked in tomato sauce. Pick your protein. Chicken, lamb, steak, uh, pork, um, shrimp. Select a sauce. I have spinach. I have vegan. And add your toppings. If you want it, you get it. If you don't, you leave it alone. Yeah. It's as easy as that. You can also order bowls off the menu, like the peanut butter chicken special. Some plantains. It comes with white rice, grilled veggies, grilled chicken, plantains, and pico, with peanut sauce drizzled on top. And voila, you got your peanut butter chicken. There's also four specialty bowls. Roasted potato. The lamb bowl is one of the most popular. It's served with jollof rice, veggies, lamb, spinach sauce, roasted potatoes, and pico. The abloh bowl is Nina's favorite. Abloh have the kebabs and uh, um, they have a, a special African seasoning which tastes totally different than any steak you taste. The options are endless. You can make it as, as healthy as you want, as more high protein as you want, as vegan as you want. Nina is happy to share her food with Omaha. I just cook the way I cook at home. And her customers. I think that's the most rewarding part for me to know that they love the food so much. Are happy too, serving up culture and kindness, just like grandma. I'm sure she'll cry. For me to come all the way down uh, to America and actually be able to do this in a large scale to this point, it will be beyond imagination. I think my mission is accomplished. Yeah, I do too. Nina will only be serving a few of her bowls at the Taste of Omaha this weekend, though. So if you want the full experience, you got to stop by Okra African Grill. It's at 1303 South 72nd Street. To see the full menu, go to okraafricancuisinegrill.com.